Hey guys, Rob to a third Bad Pond Show Outdoors. Today we are looking at uh, making maps with the Humminbird Auto Chart Pro. Uh, essentially, all we're going to do is do the, the tutorial this time. It'd be for it was Kimball Lake out in Minnesota. Uh, let's jump right into it though. So we're going to hit new. All right, we're going to zoom on into Kimball Lake in Minnesota. Um, you see, you've already done that. I'm going to hit import. Okay, you're going to see the .ht. These .ht files are actually going to be Humminbird tracks. Um, so that's going to be essentially what we're going to uh, import to make our maps. Going to hit open. It's going to pop right in there. You're going to see this green square. Now, by default, if I click in the middle of this green square and hit map here, it would do just this little bit. What I do is I hit tools. Settings, General, go right over here to 5,000 by 5,000. By default, this will be 2,000 by 2,000. Okay, 5,000 by 5,000 means more than double the amount of coverage in the same amount of click. So we're going to do that. We're going to hit uh, right-click and map here. You'll see the big red square along the outside here. Um, that is the area that will be converted. You will see the um, essentially squiggles of where you have been. Um, this is tracked by your GPS plus your sonar. So it's reading where you're at with GPS and how deep you are um, over with the sonar. So we're going to hit uh, create map. We're over here to Lake Master update. Okay, we're going to hit uh, hit feet, of course, since we're here in the United States. We're going to close. Okay, there's no OK. It's just straight up close. Uh, while this is updating, and this usually does take a little bit of time to update, depending on how much data you have. Um, yeah, we, I like to switch to this custom um, Lake Master map. This will show you where you've been, um, and all that kind of good stuff. You'll see here, okay, so this is what we had when we generated the map, right? Let's get rid of that. You hop over here to the left side, you're gonna see a transparency slider. Just bump it out of the way. This is your map. If you hit no, you won't see this. You'll see just that, uh, the outline of the generated map. You'll see here though, we've got the outline of the map that we created. Now, let's say this is the first time you fished, um, we want to go back out, and we want to scan the rest of this lake. All right. So I'm going to hit new again. I'm going to go to import. Okay, once you do that, we've got four more of these. Um, you can do one at a time. You can do all of them. It doesn't matter. We're going to pop them in there. You see all these squares. Like I said, if you had it, I'm 2000 by 2000, the take of multiple clicks. Being as I'm lazy... We've got all this done in one simple click. We go back up, hit uh, generate map. We're going to hit Lake Master update. Let that thing do its thing. Since this is a little more data, it might take a little bit more time. And done. All right. We already did convert the map, so it, that's not a problem. It's going to go back to you know, how we had it. So you'll see all what's scanned. Get rid of that. And you'll see the map. It is absolutely perfect. The most detail you'll ever get in a map. Um, that's because you scanned it. Um, the Northern guys are absolutely loving this, and if you don't have it, you're going to love it. Um, the biggest thing is there's a lot of map lakes up here that we don't have even DR maps for. Um, we don't have basic string and rock maps. I mean, we've got nothing. We know outlines even in some lakes up here. Um, there's a few lakes that I fish tournament on that this, you know, this pretty much saved my hide in that tournament. I've never fished a lake before. I went and scanned it. It's the only guy out there with a the map. And did really well for never fishing that body of water or anywhere near that body of water. Um, this is a Humber Outchart Pro. I'm Robert Joe Third Bad Poncho Outdoors. 
Thanks for watching, guys.